Hi guys. Um, I do hope that this is okay. I've had to change the gain on my recording because there was a lot of like background noise. So we'll see what happens. Um, I've done a few tests and I also managed to just delete the recording I'd already done. So yay me. <laughs> it's good. To, it bodes well for today, doesn't it? Um, I am sitting. I'm settled. I am shattered, but I am ready to go and I'm ready to see this through. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't even know if I will get, if I will see it through, but I'm, I'm in for a long one today. I've, I've made the decision. I, I can't leave, I can't leave Arthur hanging like this. Um, my t-shirt is my message to Micah. I mostly peace, love and light. Oh, little girl, fancy yourself. That's my message to Micah today. And also kind of to Dutch, because he totally ditched us. Um, I am, there's a massive division in camp and I'm not, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I can see two camps, kind of two divisions. There's the kind of middle ground where I've got like Karen, who's just too drunk to really know what the heck seems to be going on. And then you've got Arthur's side, where you've got Sadie, you've got Charles, you've got John, Abigail, Jack, obviously. And I think you might have Mary Beth and maybe Tilly. I think they might go over to that. Or certainly, certainly Mary Beth and Tilly, I think, will just, will go. Then you've got the Mrs. Grimshaw, who is very, um, kind of, the the family is everything and very supportive of Dutch um, as we saw from killing um, I can't even remember what her name is so I think that you'll have that side except I think that Dutch maybe thinks that Mike is on his side I think Mike is on Mike's side um, I don't think I don't think that Mike is on Dutch's side I think Mike is using Dutch in the way that Dutch is using others I think that if anything is going to happen, I wouldn't be shocked at the. I wouldn't be shocked if Micah steals the money that Dutch has saved for the camp, and turns on Dutch. In the end, wouldn't be surprised if that happens, but I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. It could go. I mean, it could go any which way. Um. So it's it's going to be an interesting ride so I have tissues I have tea I may need chocolate and hugs <laughs> so I'll see you on the other side see you in a bit guys okay guys so let's okay let's see can't go past how delightful um uh, I have, we're, at, we're at that point aren't we it's just Dutch and he's at camp. Shoot. Right, I tell you what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to go and um, just check my guns. Because <laughs> I'm procrastinating. Hey. Oh, that's not, that's not right. That's it. Right, so I'm going to check my guns. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to check my, sorry, check my guns, um, brush my horse. You done good, girl. <laughs> check my guns, brush my horse, up my health, and then go and do what I need to do. Be really scared okay, about it. Girl. Fine. It's fine, guys. I feel like worst thing I have felt in my whole damn life. Hello, Ooh. sir. Oh, I bet. It's you, hmm. my friend. Hey. This guy is your mysterious savior. Go on, buy me something. I need Come a new here. outfit. Before you collapse on us. Uh, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's oh. an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. 
It's Jenkins. Oh, yes, indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. It is indeed. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that ah. if it were a bear that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. God, that's so... I just Fair love enough. the little... Well, I got a mosey. You take care of that leg. I will. I will. The, it's the it's the little movements when they say things that make it so real. It's not like they're just talking like this and they're not moving at all. Like, they they have the head nods, they have the movements, which is actually kind of... Well, it's exactly... It, well, it's how most of us talk, isn't it? So we've got everything kind of everything going on. That's great. Oh, I don't really want to... Nah, nah. So, Gunsmith. Gunsmith, where are you? You're down here somewhere. Excellent. I wonder if I can get something new. <gasps> I wonder if it's unlocked something. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I'm about to die. <laughs> I mean, this is not necessarily the time that it needed to happen. What do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tail. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. Sure, sure. Let me browse that catalogue of yours. I mean, this isn't that accurate, the double action, but it's slightly quick, it fires quicker. I've already got a Schofield, I've already got a Volcanic, I think I might have two Volcanics. Um, I think I have, do I have another? No, I've obviously, d I apparently don't. Fire rate, reload, range, it doesn't do as much damage. Um, ooh, the Lich, the, yeah, the, I remember the Lichville being relatively good. It's quite slow, but it does some damage. What? I just want to take a look. And, uh, I'm sure I have a bunch of these things already. Right, well, the only thing, let's be honest, I'm not, I don't really use shotgun. So, let's go. Lichfield. So oh, yeah. noted. You have a good day now. Buy it. Let's do it. And then let's do all of the all of the all of the stuff because I've got the cash. Um, I'm also going to go this this session because I do think that this might be kind of it. I'm going to just basically go and sell everything. <laughs> oh, there's no point in keeping all of this stuff, is there? Scope. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I will have a sexy stock. Um, let's get it wrapped. Oh yeah. And then... Let's frame. Let's have a look. What do I want? Yes. And the hammer. Let's just all let's have a, let's have let's have the most disgusting, like white, like totally. I mean, this is it's grim. Barrel. I mean, let's have a look at the yes. Trigger. Do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. I love it. Um, do I want? Oh, you know, let's let's have some snazzy engravings. Yes. Oh, 
like the deer that I keep on seeing, so I shall have that. Uh, I shall have that on my. Uh, Oh, I don't want my wrap on it anymore then. Oh, no. That hides it. Oh, no, 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 no. Customize, customize, customize. <sighs> heck, 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 heck. That's in the wrong buttons. Boating, well. Um. Oh my god, what was it? It's a lit field. Let's take the wrap off. No wrap. Yes. So I can see how snazzy it is. Styles. <laughs> Carvings. Varnish. Ooh. Ooh, how nice. Um, quite like the grey. Let's go with ebony. Wow, that looks kind of grim. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so hideously impractical. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's take a look at any of these things. What have I been using recently? I've been using, uh, I've been using my Lancaster a lot, haven't I? Yeah, there it is. Um, I don't think I've been, I've just bought that. What am I even doing? Um, I mean, I'll double check. High roller. I mean, the map's pretty, the little map's pretty good. As is the Schofield. I might have to... Oh, I love my volcanic. I love my volcanic. So I'm thinking that if that's... I don't want a couple when I want. Um, let's do that as my offhand and that's my side arm and it was the yeah it was the um Litchfield I have just bought isn't it so let's equip that to my shoulder and the Lancaster to my back okay um and I'm pretty certain that I'm pretty certain I've got all of the ammo I need, but I'm just checking. This is this is important stuff, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ammunition. Let's just double check it. Ooh, horse outside. Chip chop, chip chop. Yep. All the stuff. Cheers, my dear. Thanks, mate. Um, I tell you what. Let's. Oh, let's. I need a bath. Let's That's have okay. my Can last you bath. You'll be amazed at the difference it makes. It's right next door. Okay. Did you hear a wagon of dynamite was hijacked? Come back if you need something. Oh, uh, wagon of dynamite was hijacked by. Not me. No, no. Oh, I'm so bad, aren't I? I'm just like, what even am I? I'm just procrastinating and I can't help her. But I want to be, I want to sell myself and I want to be all clean and happy and cozy. I'm going to scrub. Scrub, 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 scrub. How about some assistance? Oh. Oh my gosh, 50 cents for a deluxe bath. Sure. Gimme. Gimme, oh, gimme, gimme. Wonderful. Don't you worry about mm. a thing. I think you at least need a sponge. 
Whenever you're done, just say the word. <laughs> do, do I need a safe word? You let me know if the water gets cold. <sighs> Life can always be worse. Oh, I'm sure. That is true. True enough. So, how's it going with you? Pretty good. Wow, you're you're talkative. Yeah, that that was right. That's perfect. Thanks. Bye, hun. Excellent. And I bought those clothes the other day, so they're probably not too stinky. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have a sleep. In a nice bed. Um yeah, let's have a long sleep. Oh my god, I'm so I just don't want to do this. <laughs> oh. You guys understand, you know. You know what's gonna happen. I don't. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, cut, 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 cut. Well, at least I have I had a lovely sleep. And I hope you appreciated it. I've got everything I need. Oh my gosh. Let's go and say hello to some people. Hi, uh, folks. Morning. Hello, mister. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Glad to hear it. That's because you had a nice bath. Oh, you. I'm, I'm just going to say hello to some people, even though they look. Looking a little haggard there, friend. Hey, y'all. That was so lazy. Right. I'm on. Okay then, girl. Right. Well, last week, one of those um, boat captains got so drunk he fell overboard. The ship was saved, but I think he drowned. Yep. Okay, cool. All right then. I don't know how many rides I'm going to have left, but Dutch needs to speak to you. Oh well. How wonderful. Okay. Right. So let's cinematic camera it and see what happens. Let's keep on giving Hobnob some love. Yeah, there's a girl. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> uh, you good, girl? There. Just trying to get my like my horse handling right up. Good girl. Good girl. I don't know how many of these rides I'm gonna have left, guys. It's so beautiful. Well, obviously I'm gonna play this more after. This may well end up becoming my new like it's like Skyrim Death Stranding and all of those. That I can just play for hours and hours and hours and not achieve anything. <laughs> okay. By the way, if every now and then I wince, it's because I pulled my neck on the left hand side, so I can just about do. I can. I can get my neck to about. About there. So if I suddenly jump or something and like shriek in pain, it's me, not the game. <laughs> it's the pain of like the fact that I've pulled something. I'm trying to do some house renovation y things. Sanding. Sanding tables.
Okay, here we go. <sighs> Nobody's on lookout anymore. I really hope the volume's okay on this. I am stupid. You know what? I probably should actually just pause and stop and just check this before I carry on. Yeah, that's probably the best plan. <laughs> Well, it turns out my voice was slightly weird. Um, it might actually just be slightly weird, but we'll, again, we'll just have to keep, we'll just, I just kind of want to keep playing with it. Partly because, um, oh, you bastard. You knocked off me hat. I am very, un I am very unimpressed with that. What just happened there? Calm. Calm yourself fucking down. You're okay. Slow down. Beep. Jeepers. Let's have some coffee. Um, I don't know why, yeah, but I don't know. I don't need it, but I'll drink it anyway. I'll have a sip of coffee, I think. That'll do. What a waste. Mm, take some stew. Kai, I'm sorry, guys. Look, this is, I'm playing normally. <laughs> God knows what's in it. I wonder how I got my outside back up. We've kind of hit the point, haven't we, where we're not having to, not, I don't seem to be having to give things to the camp, everything's kind of screwed. I think this means I've got like a presence. I wonder if it's that tonic. It probably is. I don't need it because I've already got it. Let's go and speak to Ms. Grimshaw. Oh, Susan. I left something for you by your tent. A little thank you for that seasoning you brought me. I know, but I don't need it. But thank you. Good morning. Okay. Excellent. Thanks for that. Let's go and oh, say the hello, sweetheart. Love my Sadie. Well, I'd be dead in that factory if it weren't for Eagle Flight. And I feel like Dutch saw and didn't do nothing. Nope. You gotta just look out for yourself now, Arthur. I mean, I could be wrong. <sighs> You're not wrong. It all happened so fast. Okay, guess I'll leave you to it then. Sure, Arthur. Oh, hey. Hey, Bill. Mrs. Morning. Handler. Why don't you sit instead of creeping around the place? Oh, screw you, Bill. Morning, Arthur. Why don't you and your pals just get out of here? We got the train job coming up, Morgan. The big one. You're a big one. I don't even know what that means. I don't know. I'm just, I, I've kind of, I don't know. Anyway, I need to focus. Just focus. You guys can cope, I'm sure. Let's go and speak to anyone that we can find, I think, at this point. This might be one of our last chances to do something. Morning, Arthur. Susan Gr oh my god it's Susan wow how, how on earth 
she looks really posh. <laughs> How on earth has she ended up where she is? Wow. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> Maybe she fell in love or something. I'm just just double checking. Let's see if is John I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying is something happens, we get split up, we meet there. Oh one Gila Dam, alright? Oh and Gila Dam. Alright. You ain't leaving right now, are you? Just making sure we got a plan. You never know how these things are gonna turn out. No, you don't. I'm trying to look out for the boy. Mm, okay. And you? I'm working on it. Let's keep talking, okay? Where did John stalk off to? Let's go and speak to. And I think Charles is up at the camp, so. It's good you're thinking about this. I don't see things turning back around at this stage. Nope. Okay, so at least we know. <clears throat> I think Javier is with, um, with Dutch though. Stay alert there, Javier. Good morning, Arthur. Maybe he's a bit. He'll be a bit on the fence if something else happens. Okay, let's go and speak to. Mm. No. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. What you want, Micah? Nothing. I'm just being civil, my brother. Well, hello there. Don't you really me. are a very charming man, aren't Don't you? Don't you brother me. Hey, Joe. Look out. Nice tattoos. Okay. Well, we at go. least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Oh. Cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we our community, we will survive. They will not He's crush dead. us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. And a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave <laughs> the poetry of it all what do you think it sounds wonderful hell yeah i ain't got much to lose but you know the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Oh, dear. Yeah. Insist. Wow. Okay. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Insists. 
Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, hell. Dutch did not like that at all, did he? Closing in fast. Shit. Oh, God. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Like I said, it's in the back of the wagon. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. I'm on it. I'm on it, John. I'm on it. Totally on it. Parcel. Shit, it's in my bag. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well... Maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. What, Karen? You've always had my back, Arthur. Uh, perhaps not always. Back to when Arthur anyway, and Charles here we saved go. him. One last train, Arthur. Was it Charles or Javier? One Might last have been train. Here, one last train. Oh my god, one last train. Case. I'm ready, I'm ready. The slow tape before it all kicked off. I could just see her in a little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. 
We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Yeah, let's nice not draw attention to town, ourselves. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Macca? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Oh my god. Life is such a gift. So many of us! This is not subtle! Not much further now. This is so unsubtle. Halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. I don't like that Dutch is basically dividing up those of us who he thinks might be against him. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but John and Arthur and Zadie are the three that are kind of but I think Dutch suspects. And so he's put Sadie with Cleet, who's one of Micah's friends. I wouldn't be surprised if Cleet tries to bump off Sadie, if that's part of the plan. And then John and Arthur going to where they know that they might get captured or they're shot or something. I'm just, maybe I'm just so cynically suspicious at the moment. I think I am. Okay. Here she comes. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. <laughs> well, everybody mount up. We're still going through it this. Oh my. Of course we are. <gasps> oh my god, they're going to look even more dodgy just riding after the really like the full train. Oh, hell, 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 hell fire, hell fire. Get on that train! I'm riding. I'm going as fast as I can. Dodgy as how I mean seriously. Yeah, 
up, come up. I'm gonna do this. I'll get there, I'll get there, I'm just not. We're gonna win this strong go. to be something in here.
Let's go! Holy shit! If I hadn't have jumped quick enough, oh my god! We're alive, it's just about. Well, let's move. I wonder whether there's even. Where's John? Where's, Where's John? John? I tried. What? I tried. He didn't make it. The I don't believe. I don't believe you. Either of you. I don't think that they even went back for him. I think that he has been left dying on the side somewhere, and I don't think that he's dead. But I think that they totally have just left him to die. Just assumed. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. I'm not crying because I don't believe he's dead. Yet. Maybe we'll find he's been captured again. I just don't trust them. I just don't trust them. I don't believe that they went back. It's a really good way of getting rid of John, who's obviously with Arthur. Yeah, I know. Just. They came and took Abigail. I said, Jack, we hid, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent Milton and his oh, men. Oh, shit. Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. Oh, my God. Uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Family! Come on, boys. Family! <laughs> Fucking sorry. Extolling the virtues of how important family is all the way through this, and then you do this, don't you get? Come on, Sadie, stay with me. Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. Yes. You and me is all we need. Yes, Sadie. Miss Tilly, here, take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll, I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler, ride with me. Yes. Screw you, Dutch and Micah. Over, they'll probably dock at the north end of town, so I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. And that's partly why I don't believe that they went back for John. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. That's what I've said. We went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. 
I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. Yeah, that's true. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, oh, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. You're so strong and I love you. You're one of my fav favorite female protagonists in a game. And Abigail and Left 4 Dead Here too. Here we are. Left 4 Dead? Ditch no. the horses Lots and come us. up with a plan. Lots of us too. Abigail. Loved Abigail. Okay, okay. Please, please don't let me bust this up. It'd be How nice if I'm... God, I'm hoping okay. that I've got guns. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Do it. Okay. Yes, Mom. Get Amazing. I love that so very, very much. Okay. Oh, God. Ooh, I just don't think I know. Oh, voila. Uh, spiral staircases be horrible. Is there a ah? There's a ladder. I was like, can I get out the window? No, there's a ladder. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Okay, Mr. Milton, where are you? Oh my God! Did you see? Have you seen his hat? There you are, you bastard. Am I supposed Sorry, I'm I'm so I'm like oh 
shit. Where is that coming from? Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? We, 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 we try. I couldn't see where it was coming from. Okay, this, this is this. I might have to lean closer to the screen. <laughs> I'm not very professional. I may have to like. Okay. So, okay. Go there. And that. That's it. Keep moving. From there. Okay. Is it just those two? Yes, move, move, move. We've got it, we've got I've got you, I've got you. <laughs> Shit. Yes! I think I've popped a cap in your ass! But like Oh go she got that one. I love Sadie! Take out Milton, take out Milton. Shit. Shit! Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen.
up. Let's get behind something. Health tonic, health tonic, health tonic. Too long to reload. Ow! Oh! Okay, ladies, let's get out of here. Oh shit! Calm down, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Cough on him! Cough on him! That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Oh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Tilly! I'll be all even, sorry. Horrible man. Yes! wasn't to be trusted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. And poor Molly got shot for nothing just because she was drunk and in love and she lied. Micah is going to screw, screw over Dutch, screw over us, screw us all over. Now come on, both of you. Yeah, I 
don't see him. to John. Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. You gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat. Before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That she was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> The many miles we walk, the many things we learn.
Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Oh. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Okay. Abigail didn't shot have to hear that. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John! John! You left me! You left me! now because this is over all oh, them years dutch for this snake <laughs> oh, be quiet cowpoke be quiet you live in the clouds no you be quiet mr bell and put down your gun there's pinkerton's coming fast <gasps> no <laughs> now <gasps> who wants to <gasps> Is with me! And who is betraying me? You betrayed us all, Dutch! <laughs> well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is Agent Ross. The Pinkerton detective agency. Put your gun down. Lay down your weapons now. We have you surrounded. Oh, he's gonna get it. Get him. How's it going? Do that. No. 
not good for the skull. Yeah, ah! yeah! Come on, Arthur! Into the cage! Just us anyway, John! Come on, Arthur! Yep. Keep going! Oh. Old Scratch is coming for you! Michael was the rat, John! Milk Kobe! Uh. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago! Stay with me, Arthur! Put your guns on the ground! Kill him quick now! <coughs> All right, Arthur. I'm with you. Keep going. Come on, catch up with Arthur, you go up first. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there. I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'm coming with you. Right you know, bullshit. If it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Let's go. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. <sighs> right to the end, I am not. 
Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. Keeping your hat. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. Oh, there ain't no more time for talk. Go. I'm sorry. I'm Arthur. sorry for this. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know.
You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Yeah, Marcus. Despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I'm one. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on. But what cost? John made it. What He's the cost? only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on!
was a bit freaky. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Oh my god, it. Like he deserved like shoot. Oh, I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? Uh, I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. With your books. What's happening here? What's happening is Lisa's pausing it and turning the volume off so I can blow my nose. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Bloody hell. Okay. We've just given up, haven't we? Is that what this is? What was that you were saying? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, uh, Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. It's giving me a moment to calm down. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm sorry, I have to keep on thinking about what's happened. I'm like, what can I do? <laughs> <laughs> it's. Oh. so much easier for cinematic camera on because I'm the least because I'm just not good. 
but I don't have to think. Um, I, guess I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Oh, uh, been a long time. I'm s geez, sniffy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You pull up just here. Sure. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. 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 I'm so sorry that I'm so sniffy. I don't. I'm. I'm. I just can't help, I can't help it, I'm just so, everything, just so upsetting, and I feel so broken. <laughs> oh my god, is she pregnant? Thank you, doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. <laughs> Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Where are they going to live? What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> now... Odd thing to wonder, but I wonder. Ow! Owie, 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 owie. I wonder if his like, facial hair and what he looks like at this point changes depending on what Arthur looks like. I'm just, I wonder. Probably doesn't. It's probably just me making, making connections where there are none, but. Past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Howdy. Or not. Hope in some ways that you we that John meets 
like, when he goes up to this ranch, like, the guy's married to one of the, he's a, he's a good man, he's married to one of the, one of the women. I feel kind of bad for this room, sure. By the way, still. Or is it, or is it like Dutch or Micah? Of course, I don't know. <laughs> but still, I'm, I can, I can do, I can. Make, do do little supposition. Who and Jim? We go past it and north. So beautiful. So many games make me want to visit America. Uh, visit America so much. Um, and not the cities. It's these places that I want to see. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a country girl at heart. I love nature, and this is so beautiful. I think I said the other day I could spend days just looking at that view of that waterfall from that bridge. <laughs> I find real peace, real peace in the quietness. My husband and I, and I know this. I'm just riding here. My husband and I did something called the Coast to Coast many years ago before I got sick. Um, and that's walking across the entire of England. So you start at, um, you start on the West Coast and you walk all the way to the East Coast. And you, do, and you walk. And it's a huge undertaking. It's a big undertaking. It took us like a couple of, it took us two weeks. And you just walk. No, and it was so, and you in the countryside, walking up mountains and hills and past reservoirs and lakes and through woods. There we and go north. It's beautiful. It was wonderful, and we really, it you, you kind of you struggle. You find it's really hard to kind of get back into a car and stuff after that because you've spent two weeks just just you and your feet and the sounds of nature and chatting and oh it was wonderful i would do it again in a second if i had the energy for it anymore if i wasn't sick but if you um if you ever get the chance to do anything like that walk any kind of trails um do doesn't it's one of those things that you can take your time even if you're not really a walker or whatever but it's incredibly good for the soul spending time just with you yourself and nature it kind of puts things in perspective a little bit everything's so you know everything around you is so big and so beautiful you can really you know, really spend this time finding finding yourself a little bit so if you do get the chance to do it, you should. Oh my god, how awesome would it be if it was like Bo? <laughs> I just don't know, I just don't know. Who might it be? You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. It is beautiful. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, 
It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. <laughs> We're all one. Lancelot. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. You can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them, for that matter. Who's a good horse? That's my damn wagon! Okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Oh, wow, uh, that was not. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. <laughs> but we'll give you a chance. Yes. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Oh, wow. It's lovely. a real okay I'm just moving this over here we go here we go here we go oh my goodness me <laughs> I'm gonna stop here have I got oh I just don't even care anymore um I'm gonna stop here because just for I, I it's lunchtime and also it's I think that's quite a nice place to pause, and then I'll 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 have a I'll carry on with the epilogue. Maybe after lunch, I kind of fancy carrying on with this for a little bit. It's so good. 
Wow. Micah. Touch. Oh, I can't even. I feel like I'm just emotionally wrung out. Like, I feel so betrayed. But so grateful for spending time with her. I feel very grateful for Arthur in my life now. That sounds so weird to say. Um, I'm going to go and take a breather and maybe carry on later, I don't know. Either way, I'm real I'm sorry, I can't even think anymore. There's just just too it's been too too much. Um, but thank you for joining me up to this point. Um, there is more to come, it seems. We've got the epilogue, um, which I'm... Epilogue? Epilogue. Which I'm really, um, really grateful for that this hasn't just stopped. But, um, yeah, it feels wrong to do the whole like and subscribe and all of this. Just, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Because I have... Oh my god, so much. And there's still more to come. I'm so grateful that there's still more to come for Oma, for Arthur. <sighs> what, a, what a brave man. And he saved them. Oh, okay, right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll see you next time for the epilogue stuff. I'm more sniffing. I will, um, yeah. Take care of your souls, guys, and I will speak to you soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.